I bet you've never seen a pair of Bose earbuds like this before. Why isn't it focusing? Try again. I bet you've never seen... I bet you've never seen a pair of Bose earbuds like this before. Now you may never have heard of open ear earbuds, but I'm hoping by the end of this video you'll have a good idea of whether or not they're for you. They are an acquired taste. There are lots of concessions that you have to make for earbuds like this, which I'll get into, but they can be incredibly useful. So when Bose got in touch and said, do you fancy checking out these Bose Ultra, let me get the name right, the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds, I might just call them the Bose from here on. I said, yes, please. And no, this is not a paid video. Now, this isn't my first experience of open earbuds. I reviewed the Huawei Free Clip last year. They are very interesting, but they are an acquired taste because of the design. These from Bose, I think might satisfy a wider user base because they do look a bit more conservative. They're very Bose in that respect, but they do have the same questions, which I've, I've made a list here. What do they sound like? Are they worth the price? And these aren't cheap. Do they stay on your ears? And more importantly, who are they for? Before I get into that, although this video isn't sponsored, I do have some fantastic brand partners who help me keep the lights on in this studio and keep these free videos coming. One of those brand partners is Brain FM, and this is a fantastic music app that pipes music into your ears that is designed to make you more productive. Now, I can't guarantee that, but what I can say is that for the last three years, it has completely transformed the way that I get my writing done. I spent years using playlists from movie themes and spa music and all sorts. It never really worked. Brain FM is just, it's game changing. I can't work without it, and I've worked with Brain FM to get you a fantastic discount. Just click that link below. Okay, let's talk about the specs and the pricing of the Bose Ultra Open, the, the, the Bose basically. They are £299.95 in the UK, and we're told that they have an open ear design with immersive audio, which is powered by Snapdragon sound. And the list of features on Bose's website reads more like a list of promises than specs. So we get things like surprisingly private, which I'll get onto later, but also all day comfort, auto volume, and 7.5 hours of playtime from the battery. That goes down to four. 4.5 hours if you have immersive audio turned on. And I'll explain what immersive audio is later. There's also IPX4 water resistance and button controls, which Bose describes as simple and satisfying. However, there's no multi-point Bluetooth connectivity and no wireless charging. And that does seem to be a fairly regular occurrence with Bose earbuds. So as always, these need to perform in certain areas to make them worth the money. They come in black or white smoke, which is the version that I've been sent. And that is the list of features pretty much done. So what on earth are these? Right, let's start with what an open earbud is because I do think they need a bit of explanation. This is an AirPod Pro and it's a standard in-ear earbud. So it goes into your ear, it fills your ear canal and this here creates a seal, which means you get the best sound and the best noise cancelling. These don't. Rather than going into your ear, these go on your ear like that, and they pipe music down into your ear canal, but they don't fill the ear canal, which means you can still hear everything going on around you. The idea basically is that you can hear whatever it is that you're listening to on these, but you can also be aware of what's going on. Now, as a result of that, these don't have noise cancelling, which I know sounds like an obvious statement, but I do need to clarify that because I do get lots of questions whenever I cover open ear earbuds. They're the opposite of noise cancelling earbuds. When it comes to sound quality with the Bose, it very much depends where you put them on your ears. And hands up, I should have read the manual because I started wearing these completely incorrectly for the first two or three days. I had them way too far up on my ear and that resulted in quite a thin sound which really needed cranking up to hear it. Then I thought, well, this is strange. This doesn't feel like Bose. So I read the manual and basically they should sit a little bit further down and just angled slightly towards the ground. If you do that, it means the driver is a little bit nearer the ear canal and the difference in sound is quite dramatic. A big caveat here with any kind of open earbud is the fact that you're never gonna get massive booming 
bass. And you're never gonna get really detailed sound across the entire frequency range. That isn't what these are all about. What you should get is clarity, a nice wide sound stage, and enough volume to work in most situations. And on that front, I took these to London a couple of days ago, and they worked brilliantly everywhere, apart from the tube. And the tube, if you've ever been on the London tube or any subway, really, that is a tough environment for, for most earbuds, let alone open earbuds. But that was pretty much the only environment where these struggled. Everywhere else, I could hear these perfectly, and I didn't have to crank them up to maximum volume. And you do get that with certain open earbuds. You have to really drive the volume to hear anything. They're typically Bose. It's, a, it's an assured sound. It's very confident. It's not overly flashy because it can't be based on the design of open earbuds. It just does a very, very good job. But that is what matters, volume and clarity, and these are the best I've heard in that regard. They also have something called immersive audio, which you get on the Bose Ultra earbuds, the in-ear ones, and the over-ear version of the Ultras. It's Bose's version of spatial audio, and what it does, it places the soundstage in front of you, or it feels like the sound is coming out of speakers over there. There's two modes with this. There's still, which means if you turn your head, the sound stays over there, and motion, which means as you turn your head, the sound stage follows you around. The idea is that still is used if you're just sitting there watching TV, for instance. Motion is used when you're walking around or running or that kind of thing. It doesn't work brilliantly for music in my personal experience because it removes some of the dynamics. It gets rid of a lot of the width because you get this kind of you know, speaker type thing happening instead. I don't like it for music, but it does have a place for TV and movie watching. Having said that, given that these are a 300 pounds pair of ears, Earbuds, it should be included. As for that claim about these being surprisingly private, it's basically both saying people around you can't hear what you're listening to, and that is a, a very common question about open earbuds. In practice, they can't but only in certain situations. So if you're walking down the street, if you're sat on a train, if you're somewhere where there's a, a kind of background hum of, of noise and stuff going on, generally speaking, no one can hear these. If you're in a very, very quiet room and you're sitting very close to someone, they will hear something. You know, the talking of your of your podcast or the, the hi-hat coming from the music you're listening to, but it's still fairly faint. And given the design, that's about as much as Bose can do. Let's talk about user experience and comfort first. They are incredibly comfortable, almost too comfortable. Right now, I have no idea these are on my ears. I, I can't feel them unless I think about them. The problem with that is that the other day, I went to put on my over-ear headphones and knocked one of these onto the floor because I'd forgotten they were still on my ears. Now, Bose doesn't offer any kind of find my feature for these, so if you do knock them off your ears without knowing, well, it's curtains. This does come with the territory, obviously, again with open earbuds. It's another compromise that you have to make, but it's quite a nice one because oh, they're just so comfortable. And on the subject of design, these are a lovely looking pair of open earbuds, classically Bose. They're not garish. They don't, they don't require much taste. And what I mean by that is that the free clip, that sounds weird, the free clip from Huawei are designed like pieces of jewellery, basically. So they, they look a little bit like earrings, which means you need to have the taste for that. That needs to be your thing. That look needs to work for you. I think I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments. I reckon these are fairly fairly generic looking. I think that these will suit most people's tastes. And in terms of the build quality, they do feel like they could take quite a beating. They have this kind of uh, I, don't know, I think it's rubber connecting the weight thing on the back with the driver. And that does feel like it could take quite a bit of stick. And the case is brilliant. They sit in there very nicely like that via magnets. And it's about the same size, roughly a little bit bigger possibly, as the AirPods Pro case. So it gets my vote. Oh, and physical buttons. They do have these on both of the earbuds. And this is the only time I think ever you'll hear me say, I wish they'd used a touch control for volume. That's the one thing where if you could run your finger along here to increase and decrease the volume, what you have to do instead is press twice, I think, or something, and, and hold down on one of them to increase the volume and use the other one to decrease. It's it's a bit fiddly, and you, al you always go way too far in one direction. The battery life has been fine as well. I think it could be a little bit longer. I think the 7.5 hours is, it's just about enough for all day wear, but it, it would be nice to have 8.5 or possibly 9.5, just to give you enough headroom. The other common question that I get about open earbuds is, do they fall off your ears? And no, they don't.
I've ran with these out on the street, I've run on the treadmill, I've done weights at the gym. They haven't fallen out once and they never feel loose at all. When it comes to calls, my testing has been a little bit inconclusive. I could hear the other person perfectly, but in certain environments like this studio, for instance, they could hear a bit of a buzz whenever I spoke, which was a bit weird. It kind of, it kind of came in and disappeared and came in again. Weirdly, it didn't happen in every environment. And you know, if I'm walking down the street, I can hear people perfectly, they can hear me. It could be something in the studio, let's be honest. But it's important that I mention that because I think a lot of people want to use these for taking calls and I know how important that is to you guys because I read the comments. I think there are three use cases for open earbuds like the Bose. The first one is for people who love going out running and working out at the gym, but they want to hear what's going on around them. Another caveat with that, while these are fantastic out and about on the road running or the street running, the gym depends very much on how loud your gym is. But if your gym is relatively chilled out, then they should be fine. But certainly if you go out running and doing active stuff outside, but you want to be very aware of your surroundings, these are perfect. The second group Group of people are people who are looking after someone at home. So that could be a small child, it could be an elderly relative, it could just be someone who you need to, to listen out for basically. It's just an amazing use case for these. It's something that I hadn't really considered until I started using them, but we have a small son and if I'm looking after him but I want to listen to a podcast, I can now do that with these and not worry about missing when something either fantastic or terrible happening in the other room. I can hear everything. The third group is for people who work somewhere where you're allowed to listen to podcasts and music but you need to be aware of your colleagues and customers and the phone ringing and that sort of stuff. Once again these are unbeatable in that scenario. In terms of who shouldn't buy these it's really straightforward. If you want noise cancelling they don't offer that. If you want the best audio that you know the, the the absolute best sonic performance ever on a pair of earbuds they're not built for that either i asked you guys for some questions about these as well so i'll pick out the most common ones that i received uh, looks like a sheep's ear tag how are they in noisy environments? Are they better than shocks? Yes, they are a step above shocks. They are better in noisy environments than shocks as well, but they are more expensive, so they should be. How does the volume compare to the others? As I've mentioned, it's very impressive. These are the best sounding open earbuds I've tried. Can you sleep wearing them? I haven't tried this, although to be honest, you probably can. I wouldn't do it myself. I don't like the idea of leaving things connected to my ears while I'm sleeping. Given that they are very secure and very comfortable, you probably can, but I won't I won't recommend that. What codec do they use? They use Snapdragon Sound and AptX. Those were the most common questions, but in terms of a conclusion about the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds, they are very, very good. If you've got the budget, if you've got 300 quid to spend on a pair of these, if you can accept all of those compromises and the things that you have to bear in mind about this type of earbud, they're a no-brainer. However, if I have put you off the idea of open earbuds, keep watching for my full review of the Bose Ultra earbuds, the, the normal ones that go into your ears.